everyone, welcome to 75 Heart Live on Instagram. This is the 72nd episode of this series. It is the 22nd of February 2023, currently 2.45 p.m. on a cloudy Wednesday afternoon here in Singapore. Thank you so much for joining us. Whether you're watching this live or rec- recording, my name is Stephanie Jennifer. I'm a CZT21 and I'll be your host for today's session. And uh, in just a bit, I'll be joined by my co-host. Hosts Debbie New. So, as with all of our Instagram live sessions, they'll be made available uh, as a recording after this session uh, on our Instagram page at Seven Forest Five Rivers, and also on our YouTube channel, youtubecom slash c slash. 7 and 5 Art Studio. You can find each of us on our personal Instagram pages. Debbie is at tangled.pursuits. Uh, I'm at halfpad underscore will draw. And usually Susan Yo, uh, she's uh, CZT Asia 2. Usually she's here with us live, but today she couldn't make it. But you can find her on Instagram at susanyo.czt. Hi, Debbie. Hello. Hi, there are jets flying. I'm not sure if you can hear me. <laughs> yeah, so usually for uh, these weekly Instagram live sessions, we usually feature um, weekly and fortnightly challenges, uh, Tango challenges, they can be found in the 7F5R challenge group over on Facebook. You can search for 7F5R challenge directly in your Facebook search bar or go to this link to find us. It's a free to join group if you're a certified Zen Tango teacher or you're just a, a hobbyist Tango. We'd love to have you in the group. You can check it out and uh, see what other people have created and also post your own creations in the group. Yeah, Debbie, what tile are you using today? Actually, I'm not sure, but I have uh, some pre-tinted ones already. What are you using? Then I'm I'll using, use something else. I'm using a March 7 FIR tile. It's tinted using the Lindy Scan Magicals. We did this during the Instagram live sale. So should I do something else then? Sure. And then I have a white tile. Uh, a but these are not Lindy's tile. Gang. These are Tombow uh, inks. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Should I share today's string since Susan is not here? Up to you. Let's reply ma. Two shape string. So in the original challenge, this is how it looks like. You could of course uh, have it without a border. The two be more straight. So you get something like this. Or maybe you have four corner dots and a border. And then you could have the string be different because you can have it in a different language. So maybe I'll do the Chinese character. Er. Mm, that just looks like two parallel lines. <laughs> no border. And then with border. Is the string. Yeah. Don't so bother along, with right? a border. Don't bother with a border. If you want yeah. to bother with a border, then please go ahead and draw your border now. Oh my gosh. I should probably draw my border. The jets are here again. Very good. Yeah, they've been flying more frequently lately. Yeah? Oh, I told you about it, what? Hey, yeah, we're not going to roll, uh, stop it. Yeah, but China is flying balloons, um, you know. Sounds so fun, China is flying balloons. <laughs> okay, here's my two. Yes, so tango along with us. You can follow along either one of us or you can go on your own little tango adventure. We love to see what you create at the end of today's session. Today's featured tangle is uh, featuring the weekly challenge. So this week's weekly challenge is in a cache by Today's Debbie. featured tangle is featuring. <laughs> in a cache is by Debbie New. Maybe she can show us how to draw it. 
I'm not very good at that. Don't eh. Don't draw it. Don't draw lah. Yeah, draw something oh. else. Don't draw. <coughs> Come, you draw. So, um, one way to learn this tangle that makes it easier is to use grip paper or, or dot paper, you know, like, um, so that it helps you with spacing and then you understand how the tangle works a little bit better. So, you know, I have another tangle, uh, tangle called tree leaf. So, actually, um, in a cache, Basically, you start out with a letter T and then you space it in a way that is uh, some ways away from the original T that you have put down. So, kind of like a, how it's kind of like tree leaf because tree leaf goes like that. Uh, and then this one is up to you to sort of like uh, move it up and down, you know, just to give you like the. Well, basically, it's alternate. I think I've drawn it too tightly. Let me just do it this way and then you draw your leaf right or, or some other shape leaf so that's tree leaf um, and then for inner cache your tea actually flips the other direction as uh, opposed to tree leaf does that make sense so you're going this way right and then instead of leaf shapes you put in a diamond shape see this nice little areas just connect those lines and you get like uh, an organic shaped diamond you'll still get four sides uh you still get a diamond but maybe not so straight so if you are a, a sucker for like straight lines uh, obviously i'm not but if you are then i would recommend you trying with like uh you know the grid paper uh my off screen yeah so the grid paper and then uh measuring out precise precise areas that you want to grow your organic diamonds so if you um want you can actually vary the shape and sizes of your diamonds by adjusting the length of space in between them and of course you can also try uh like this is like a round string you can also pretend that, you know, your T-shapes are going in around like that. And then it presents very interesting choices or decisions as to how you connect them, you know. So you can, you can work on like a circular string. Uh, like maybe our number two could be, you know, this way. Right, and then you connect the diamonds this way. Then you have some bigger ones and some smaller ones. So it's really up to you to play around with this string. And of course, I've seen people use it as a reticular as well. So uh, you can have like a really large one. Let me try to do this. Am I off screen? I I'm I'm kind of not used to being uh to having such a large, yeah, to having such a large uh area to tangle with because usually my image of space is my very tiny image of space and then I seem to be going off Sorry. a lot yeah so so for for the reticle you can actually fill up this area as uh, with tangles or lines or shapes or you can fill up this or you can even convert this into like real gems uh, real looking gems Zentangle gems yeah you can add a bit of covering. So a lot of options with this tangle. Um, I like to give. Um, I like to give very. So let me just flip it so that you guys can see. Yeah. So I like to give um very short step outs because I feel that having too many steps is sometimes counterintuitive. You know, and with too many steps, you don't get to explore um the tangle. Um, in its full potential because you get restricted by following all the steps. So I I think that um, I think my, my tangles are very easily stepped out. I think usually they have like three or four steps. Um, if you get stuck, maybe try grid paper, dot paper, 
using a ruler. I, I don't think it's very difficult to have like many variations. I think some of um, the entries in our group are very amazing already. Yeah, so you can also check out our group. Uh, a lot of them have already started on the this week's challenge. So yeah. So yeah, Bean. Try it. Try it. <sighs> Why? Why? It's going to be a very long life. Very good. <sighs> I, mean, I scared slightly in pencil. Scared of what? I scared drawing draw, draw nice. And thank God I did use pencil because really the first two tries were not very nice. You should you try on like rough paper first or something. I got try. Try on, on, on grid paper. Oh, let me move down my camera. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, my tripod has other, other uh, ideas. Yeah. Okay, this is cute. I like this. Maybe for this white part, I should use a skinnier pen. Where's my zero one? Hmm. Hello to everyone who is in chat live. We see all of your comments. Why is it a number two string? Susan's asking came for out with a the friend. Yeah, Susan came up with the fortnightly themes or themes ahead of time. I don't know why she chose two. Oh, I think I know why. It's because it is the second fortnightly challenge of this year. So, so for the third one, it's going to be three, is it? Stop it, ah. it's not. Ah. Don't go and kick it ah, for the two Don't go and kick it. Why can't I assume? Ah. Can't get assume, but you're still wrong. Ah. I'm going to check. Come on. We have a list. We prepare things ahead of time. I don't the know. The Wi-Fi R Studio is very organized. No, we're but, not. But the third... <laughs> we the try to be, but we are not... The the third challenge is a, will be a tangle. It won't be yeah, a string. Yeah, I know. That's why I was teasing you and then you fell for it. Okay, la. but the, the, okay. the next string looks a bit like a, the tree. But I don't think she meant it to be a tree. Maybe she did, you know. I wouldn't be surprised. No, no. It looked like mountain. It looked like mountain. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't put it past either of you. Hi, yo. <laughs> why? Hi, yo. And this this is what happens when you work with each other too long. Why is every Wednesday cloudy? Yeah, who questions? I think it's just this period. What did we do? Monsoon season, what did we do? It's supposed to be over every monsoon season. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Soon. yeah how, how is it? Soon, it's been so. Yeah. Monsoon season. December to early March more la, no. not yet over la. Yeah. So going to be cloudy for a while more. Oh. So yeah, we have we have uh, an announcement to make. There'll be a, a schedule change to our Instagram sessions. So they will no longer be held weekly. They'll be held fortnightly. And um, we just agreed on this yesterday as a team. So the next session that we hold for Instagram Live will happen on 14th March. Then Debbie was saying very far away. Yeah. Then I was like, yeah, very far away, but too bad. 
Yeah, and uh, the timing will be changed from 2.45 p.m. We'll bring it forward to 2 p.m. So for the next session will be 14th March 2023. It's not just the uh, time. time. It's also the day of the week is changed. Oh yeah, and then it's also yeah. Tuesday, yes. Thank you very yeah. much for, for pointing it out. <sighs> Every alternate Tuesday, 2 p.m. Starting from 14th March 2023. There we go. So a lot of changes. Very interesting. Will be more, more things each session because then there'll be two, two to three challenges. Two be three, right? Because there's one fortnightly challenge and two of the weekly tangles. But in the 7 and Fire Challenge group, we'll still be posting as per usual. So there's a weekly tangle. Tea and Tango challenge, and then there is the fortnightly challenge. Still, same schedule. Fortnightly challenges get posted on the 1st and 16th of every month. This month is very short, nah? 28 days only. Yeah. You want to ask questions? Class. Yeah. Well, I've got four, well, one, two, three. I've got three questions, but one of the questions has five parts. Very good. <sighs> Ooh, okay, so maybe you should go with the easy one. Oh, I see. What projects yes. are you currently working on? Projects? I got mm. some tiles. Oh, I'm working on Tango Travel. It's a new series. I think it's fine to announce it now. Uh, we are doing uh, what? Yeah. I I shan't I shan't give yeah. exact what? specifics. But we are doing something related to exact Singapore. Exact specifics. Heritage. Specifics are exact. <laughs> it's fine. It's extra <laughs> words to to beef up my my essay. <laughs> yeah. So this is the know, the the featured it. tangle is featuring. Yeah, we feel I don't know what's going on today. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Brooklyn Day. Didn't Run didn't eat enough work. lunch. Oh god, no no, no eat lunch for you. Maybe maybe I'm coming like my mother. Eat already and need to sleep like that. She okay. she went out of the house already. Oh okay, where did she go? Oh oh to go for class, yeah, yeah. Um, No, I think I think she's gonna have an early dinner because her class is a uh, Early something like because if not by the time she's done it'll be very late. Mm -hmm. it'll be very late yeah. Mm -hmm. Same. Oh yeah. I, I keep drawing off. Have a Let me try and adjust. Guy. Put one square. Yeah yeah. No, I just keep drawing off. Let me try and see. Tango traveler. We filmed last here. year. Then the tiles were completed in September. And then till now it happened. Uh, why are you confessing this online? This is fine, but it's just sometimes projects don't, the timelines don't go according to plan. Yeah, but okay. why you need to confess? Why can I confess? You get it off your confess, chest, just, is it? It's just a... Update. Make you feel better? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> then, for taking yeah, so long? I need, the, I need the recording for the tile, the tile video. So it's a, it's a um, progress. And then I also completed some. some Why are you praising yourself? My goodness. <sighs> Why? Okay. What? So you are taking this. Completed. Yeah lah. So you are like you are like using this uh as a as a moment yeah, to sure. indulge in. <laughs> I did this tile inspired yeah, by um Nina's Nina's CZTAE alumni club class, so I recreated it. That's why I well, for those who are watching for the first time, right, we tease each other constantly. No, she bullies me. <sighs> <sighs> what have you been working on? I've been doing a lot of accounts. I'm not going to show any accounts. <laughs> uh, I've been... So, I think this is... 
this is my latest piece. Actually, it's not tax season. I don't know why it's so early that they are chasing us. But yeah, uh, so this is uh, the latest piece that I was working on. Um, yeah, so maybe I should put it this way. Yeah, tax season is in, in April, right? Uh, yeah. I don't know how to rotate it so you don't see the reflection, but I think this works. Yeah, this is my latest one. Um, this will be going on sale at Spring Fling, Ontario. Um, no, yeah. So we we are we were I was invited to teach at uh, Spring Fling, and Steph will be coming along with me as my plus one. And then we have like a little shop, uh, at the event. And so maybe I should just take it out for now, without the reflection. You can see better. Yeah. So I have this piece that I will be bringing with me uh, and it will be going into our little shop at the event yeah so uh, I'm also bringing the frame so the frame will be part of it this is a, actually a very nice frame I was just admiring it just now it's a, a Japanese frame it's made in Japan and then and then and then this is my other one that I framed up. Also, you can't see because of the reflection. Yeah, so I've got four of these sizes, uh, four, four of these frames in this size, and I've got about six more smaller ones in this size, so I've got five more to prepare. And one thing I realized about this frame is that it's actually perfect for translucent sea tiles. Uh, because you can see like the way the light penetrates through the paper and well it's clear so uh, it emphasizes that yeah I think that's oops I think that's about it um, what else have I been doing um. okay so I've been tinting a lot of tiles uh, because I realized I Probably might not have time next month to do anything. Thing. So these are going to tide me over somehow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is really good paper uh, by Claire Fontaine. But it is kind of rough to draw on. But I like this piece a lot. Maybe I should zoom out. Let's see if I can zoom out without breaking anything. Mm. So this is actually two pieces. Of the same team, and then there's one that is bright orange red. There are two actually, bright orange red, just different paper. Yeah, so I've I've prepared this in advance because I have a business trip coming up, and I have a lot of uh tasks to clear before that time, and so I may not have um enough time to do more tinting later in the month or next next month actually. I don't understand how time is flying so fast, you know? It's like February is ending. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I mean. I regret using a PN, but then I kind of not, not doing very well my zero one today. <laughs> The same, I have the same regrets, but I regret using zero one. Stop hijacking my comments. <laughs> think of your own. Think of your own. The commissary thing, is that the word? Uh -huh. You are piggybacking of. <laughs> piggybacking? <laughs> yeah. So I was in a meeting with, with Susan and Debbie and Daniel yesterday. Then suddenly I received a text from my husband. Why did Debbie call you a piggy? And then I thought, is it like I accidentally like phone call him or something? And then it's because he had just seen a Facebook post that Debbie posted a while back where she said the piggy. He was like, why she call you piggy? And I'm like, because I born in the year of pig. Yeah. Then he, oh. Why? Why? He's so suspicious of me. Yeah. <laughs> Why? 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 No suspicious, la. You just wondering. Why are they you suspect that I am what underhandedly saying something about what I don't know. I'm terrible. Call me piggy. I'm not piggy. Pigs are loyal, you know. I'm human. 
Pigs are loyal. Oh, no? PCA on you. <laughs> Why? I said pigs are loyal. I am too, too party. Yeah. From the, the monkey the story journey to the way. Though technically, if you are a female, it's probably more like Zhu Da Jie or something. Right, right, not, right, not. Hiyo. Zhu Da Jie. Very good. So I can't. 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 Yo, that's not my fault. <sighs> oh, Nobody believes it. Okay. I don't know how to continue from okay. here. Should I continue the... Hmm. Yeah, so actually, right, you can achieve this stained glass effect with this tangle. Yeah, yeah if you want. Nah. And if you have space, I guess. You need to play with this tangle to, to know um, how to flip it around and operate it, you know. So actually, uh, a lot of the f images that I uploaded were of actually playing with it and realizing that actually it has uh, common uh, roots with Duda, you know, the Zen tangle mm. ink pattern, yeah. Today is a very noisy day at my place. You know? no, <laughs> this is non stop okay. noise. <laughs> can you hear my background? No, cannot hear. There's something oh. that's beeping, and there's also something that's rustling. Very good. And, yeah. Uh, and of course, there's the jets occasionally. Your uh, your apprentice towel is very small. It's not apprentice towel, it's a regular no. Yeah, it looks very small. Good. <laughs> My hair should go like a giant towel. Call cat. Why your regular size towel looks so big? I kind of regret putting my tool like this. Eh. Can I erase and start over? <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> Maybe I, I'll flip it around and... Why you giggle? Why I giggle so cannot? Yeah, why you giggle? You want the giggle please? And I'll touch him one. Terrible. Ask you why also cannot. Oh. Why can't I ask you why? I charge you money also. <laughs> then every time when you ask me a question, I'm going to charge you money also. Yeah, you got said before. Yeah. Yeah, but I didn't because really I actually do it. Daniel. But yeah. I didn't actually do it. it, so maybe I should start. Well, I, I we need to split cost for the the cheat, right? So I haven't do the, the last account. Only a lot of money. Add on. Add on. Only a lot of money. Hmm. I haven't gotten to that yet, no, today. Yeah. I was just rushing around endlessly like a headless. Something Chim and then and then Chim my iPad Chim. right um so actually I'm watching uh us on my iPad uh. right but know. my iPad keeps uh failing to load <laughs> the I don't know what is going on Instagram right? yeah. yeah yesterday yeah. yes yesterday I posted on Instagram it didn't post and so I lapsed one day of posting and then now my insights are all jumbled up again Good. I'm very annoyed yeah. <sighs> Oh well. He said we do not turn it in retrograde and all the devices all got a problem. Yeah, it, maybe the sun emitted a solar flare or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe. maybe. <laughs> well. then, what, the other day we call each other 
then the phone decided, no, I'm going to end this, this FaceTime audio call. I'm going to call you regularly. And then suddenly I got a text from my carrier, my phone carrier. You are uh, nearing your limit for the number of minutes for phone call. Hey, you only have half an hour, is it? No, I had one hour. So we spoke for 55 minutes. But that call uh, on my screen only showed 20 something minutes. I don't know. It was much yeah, longer. Yeah, so I tell you what, I, will, maybe, I don't know what's going on. Maybe, maybe I had already used some minutes. Oh. So, so then, blast that phone call, then it became. No, but because on my, my side, I'm able to see the call time, right? Hmm. So I saw that it was only a think 20 something minutes. Then I'm like, huh, your time so short. Uh. Of course, you finish. Uh. <laughs> Ah, okay, I started doing tree leaf as well. Tree leaf, uh, in my books, uh, I think I use it the least. Eh. So it's a very neglected tangle. Putting too many children. Not really, la, it's just, just no opportunity. So now I'm converting it into a poke leaf. Tree poke leaf. Okay, shall we do the next? Yeah, I was going to ask you the same thing. Uh, okay, let's see. How does an entangle contribute to your quality of life? How does an entangle contribute to the quality Allow of your life. Allow me to make money that I can put food in my stomach. <laughs> okay, I'll think, I'll think. How does Zentangle contribute to my quality I of life? I really pity the people who just tune in. <laughs> Why? What's wrong? It's funny. It's like you buy one, get one free. Mm. You know, you buy mm. the, the Zentangle car, then you get a comedy show. That's what our students told us. Or clean your crumb, clean your crumb, student. Well, they didn't say that like in those precise words. <laughs> I'm paraphrasing loosely. <laughs> <sighs> it's quite rude to misquote, you know. <laughs> I'm paraphrasing. I never say I'm quoting. When you are paraphrasing, you are also partly quoting what? <laughs> kind of rubbish. Anyhow. I well, to be fair, to be fair, right? She does this to everyone. She only hears half of it sometimes, mm. and she cannot remember the other half. So then, right? She will just put two and two and pretend that she remembers, you know. Yes. So yeah, it's I, not, it's not, actually, it's not just our students that she's trying to do this to. It's also me I don't, and her mom. I treat everyone equally horribly. <laughs> How does that? That is sadly quite true, though. Mm. See? Honest. Um, I think that Zentangle has allowed me to expand my social circle because if I was left to my own devices, <sighs> I would just be a hermit crack at home. Mm. I don't talk to anybody. You I still are anybody. sometimes. Sometimes. So can you imagine how much worse it could be? It's okay, la, not bad. No. Quality of life, eh? So, you are assuming that hermit crabs are bad, huh? or have Science, poor, read, uh, poor quality paper. of life, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a research paper that say the number one marker to um, how happy you are is actually how many um, meaningful connections you have with others. No. If you are an introvert, then that doesn't work, really. Yeah, it does right? work. It improves. It improves. It, it, I'm thinking maybe it's like there's like an indirect relation also. Of what? So if, Having more friends for an introvert could be more stress. Said, eh. No, they said meaningful connection. They didn't say have more friends. Different. Yeah, so so uh, an introvert may be very satisfied with one person in his or her life. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you must have friends. Like you must yeah. at least uh. have some form of community. Like. Anyways, point is that's my answer. Okay, don't get hijacked my answer. Uh. I don't hijack your answer because the answer is your answer and doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> yeah. Very honestly. You, 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 give, you give your answer. That is my answer. 
Um, I don't know how I ended up with having this team. <laughs> and then my quality of life seems to be going down <laughs> with this team. Yeah, I nearly died in January and they didn't even know. <laughs> Dengue, then that's the mosquito's fault, not our fault. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I caught dengue fever. Then do you know that every year 21,000 21, people or more actually die of dengue? I, a I, year? They die, yeah. <laughs> they, either, they either bleed to death or, or something, la, like internal bleeding or but whatever. Can, you know. can, can get blood transfusion. La. Yeah, but blood transfusion is not riskless, you know? A lot of people assume that oh, you just transfuse blood, you're safe. It's not doesn't work that way. Especially if a person has autoimmune issues, blood transfusion can be a cause of death also. You know, because your system is being, uh, you are putting in someone else's blood into your system, and your body might reject it, or your body might shut down, right? So it's not without risk to a person with immune problems, lah. Right. Um. Um. Yeah. So I'm not going to, for no reason, go and ask for a blood transfusion, uh, You know, and they might not want to give me also because then why do they want the risk on your hands, right? Right. So so a lot of issues, la. And then I think, I think my team is starting to realize that you know certain things, uh, as to how we operate needs to change. Uh, you know. How we communicate, how we operate has to there has to be adjustments, lah. As especially as the team uh is going to be growing bigger, right? I mean you can't be growing bigger and then you know like the the quality of the ex team experience drops, right? Then what's the point in, you know what's the point in anything actually? You it, it comes down to that, right? I mean you wanna work at a meaningful relationship. You know, when you have like a good working relationship and it's meaningful and there's a lot of respect, there's a lot of trust. I mean, I would want that versus um, somewhere or something that has no or less meaning, you know. Maybe not no meaning, but less meaning. So to me, the quality of life, um, I would say that it adds to as well as subtracts, uh, Zentangle. So Zentangle by itself as a practice has definitely added to my life uh, and brought me a lot of joy, peace, a lot of uh, self-awareness um, and mindfulness. Uh, not to say that I wasn't that kind of person already. I, it just enhanced it uh, for me. So... But then also because uh we got bigger and then we started uh the studio, it also brought with it a lot of challenges and a lot of stress now. So uh either way, whatever it is, I wouldn't change it uh for anything, you know, it's just it's just facts la, right? It's it's just is or isn't, right? <laughs> so I have to learn this thing called rest. Um, yeah. I can't hijack your answer anyway, what, right? It's a different experience altogether, right? No, like, to say like, oh, the connection is not, the, 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 and this is not important. Okay, what's the next question? Why is it not important? The connection? No, hijack, not hijack. That was not important thing. Okay. The the one who always hijacks your answer is not me. <laughs> always hijacks your answer is not here. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Can you imagine she's at the retreat and then she's like sneezing? These two uh, must be must be talking about me. <laughs> oh yeah. It's at that time again. It must be them. <laughs> yeah. I guess I guess it's very important to laugh, you know, like at each other, at ourselves. Because I mean, if not, uh, we just we just you know, when we work we work so hard, right? And then if there's no joy and no laughter, right, it's a very dead kind of a 
I don't want to explain. Steph, you know what I mean? Hmm. Steph, don't Ooh, want to know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Yeah. Don't want to know what I mean. <laughs> this little piggy. Yeah, hey, you know that, that that's, that's a very dark yeah, I was gonna say, nursery rhyme, I was gonna say you know? I didn't say the market, you did. I thought I was going to the market to go and buy groceries, and that is not. And now we traumatize piggies, wailing all the way home. Yeah, I thought it's good to the market to buy groceries. The piggy going shopping is not. And then we tell it to our kids, eh? Then, then rock a bye baby also. On the tree top, when the wind blows, the cradle. Then it's like, what? You're threatening your child. If you don't be quiet. I will put you on the, the tree top. The creek will break. The creek will break, and then you will, you will fall to your death. I'm so scary. <laughs> That's nice. <sighs> I put in a number two Hollies. Mm. Did you put two Hollies? No. Well, technically, I could have one more uh, in my tree leaf, but I didn't. I've done my first cow, the tangling. Mm. So fast. Yeah. It's a smaller towel. It's black and white. Where's my polar pig? Here, here. Okay. What's the next question? The next question is five parts, no? Five parts? Better get cracking. It's not that long, uh. oh. so I think we should just chill. You know, we'll finish in record time. Okay. Finish in record time. Yeah, the next one is actually all about the Zentangle method. Whoa. It's in five beats. Not eight. Why? It's five questions. It's not the steps not of anything. For those of you who don't, don't, don't know about the Zentangle method, that joke probably flew over your head. <laughs> yeah. Well, even if the joke didn't fly over your head, let it just fly over your head. <laughs> But then recently, I found another way to draw angel leaf, you yeah? hmm. that That makes it more approachable for me. Go feature it on one of the Tuesdays. Yeah, yeah, it's already scheduled. Oh, okay, very good. Okay. That one. Okay. 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 Might as well, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Okay, maybe you should start on the first one. Okay, what is... So this series is called What is the Best Way, okay? What is the best way? What is the best way? What is the best way? What is the best way to learn a tango? Practice. And then when you don't understand how to draw a tango, you should make it how other people are drawing the tango. Yeah, but what's Kepo? You need to explain. People may not understand your English. Nosy. And that's not even English, by the way. Yeah, Kepo is not English. Kepo is English. It's our own Singaporean language. Come visit us, we will teach you about. <laughs> oh my gosh. You should not be nosy about how people draw it because then then maybe they have better ideas. Like with Fangle, I had to go and see how Kelly Burrow and CZT went and drew her Fangle. Then I'm like, oh, wow, that's a very smart idea. So that's how I got to be friends with Fangle. Uh, then with um, Muka also, I struggled with. So just practice more. Practice more. And then you get better at doing it. Mm. But I think some tangles is just if you're not meshing 
think where we be, she just set this set it aside. Because I think tangles go through seasons within yourself. I'm not saying like there's a tangle season, like fashionable or something. I'm saying like sometimes But it's true, uh, there are some seasons where you see a lot of one tangle. Of you the know? one tangle. Yeah. That's just that's just called having challenges. No, <laughs> so no. Suddenly when you see like a flood of the same tangles, you're like, hmm. But it's also it's also the the actual season season like because of spring a lot of people are featuring in a flux. How would I know? I yeah, I'm, I'm, telling I'm telling you that. I'm telling you. Ah, yeah, can you stop? <laughs> it's so horrible. Then, then you, Every day you, I. See. You will come out the what? What's the tangle? The one that, the one that look like ho- the the. Luminous. Yeah, there we go. Luminous. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah, so there's the seasons season. also, what? Uh... But that's not what I meant. What I meant was sometimes you will mesh, you will mesh well with, with one thing. You mesh. Why? Why mesh, mesh potato. Mesh potato is yummy. What's wrong with it? Why eat you? Mesh potato you is mesh not very well. nice for the potato. Well, <laughs> if you know any potatoes, then say sorry to them for me. I'm a potato. So I know them because I've eaten them. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, what what if we find out that plants are sentient, then one they time. Did yeah. what? They did say mm-hmm. plants experience respond to stimuli and pain you know. Then, then what do we eat? Yeah. Chemicals. Yeah. What is it called? New replacements. Yeah, but new replacements also have to be replaced by something, you know. Can be synthetic, like like, like vitamin. Chemicals? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Interesting. I like this. Then maybe this is true. Yeah. So sometimes. No. no. <laughs> sometimes. This, this sentence are uh, very disjointed. <laughs> sometimes. You just. Don't mesh well with a tangle, then you just have to set it aside, and then like maybe a few months later, then get back to it, and then you might see in a different light. You know, it's like sometimes you draw on a towel, then you're like, "Wow, it's so ugly, I can't stand it." But then you usually right, if you just set it aside, then next week you come back to it, right? Then you're like, "Actually, it's not that bad. I don't know why I like was so harsh on myself." Yeah, provided you remember to come back to it, lah. Fair enough. That sometimes I, I think my like, problem is the towel. remembering part. Yeah. So I- Pick up a box of towels. I'm like, oh, I got this half completed towel from like 2020. I'm like, oh, I forgot about it. Mm, go for you. Yeah. I mean, it's it just you? it just happens to everyone, I guess, right? How about you, Debbie? Uh, the best way to learn a tangle is to draw bigger. Draw bigger. For the like the first time when you learn it, don't draw it too small. You have your tiny tangle, then how? I mean, you can always adjust later on when you are familiar with it, now, you know. But you know, the first time, right, it's always easier to draw it larger. Draw me, draw me. Then if it's me, then how? Must draw super huge. La. Just draw a piece of rough paper first. La. <laughs> Use your brain. <laughs> Use your brain. The best way to learn the tangles is to use your brain. <laughs> use your brain. My mother wants to use your hands. Use your hands. You should tell me sh- Shake your head, then I shake. Is it got sound? Then I said no. Then she said, you know why? Then I said why? She said, because inside full of water. Then when Do you cry? I told Debbie this. Then Debbie said, well, you shake. Usually it's like water. Then when the slosh slosh down. Then I said, yeah. I also asked my mother. Then my mother said, because the water is filled with the brim, so you cannot hear any sound. Like, uh-huh. Do you cry? No, I didn't. Because when you're raised with sarcasm as a second language, you sort of get used to it. Yeah, but sometimes you do cry. Right? She asks you to open your mouth, then, then put that something one, inside. I then... don't know. That one because like, I'm very hungry. <laughs> God, I, um, my, the, the joke that my mom, that, that, that we were saying, oh, I told my mother, I told my mother, I'm very hungry. Then she's like, ha, huh, hungry. I yeah. open my mouth. And then I thought her bag got like bread or something. So I my mouth very big. Huh? Then she, ah, very good. Eat air. And then I cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why do you cry? I don't know. I feel very cheated about it. <laughs> How old were you, uh, by the way, when that happened? Yeah, goodness. 6 to 12. 
between six to twelve. You can't be six lah. Uh, six, you just got back. Six, me. Uh, I don't think yeah. six. Probably like closer to nine, maybe nineteen. Ha, nine years old, you still don't understand your mother's. Sometimes <laughs> it's just sensitive lah. People can do it. You are yeah. Eh. <laughs> but it's not like upset crying. Like it's more of like. In the moment, you're very upset, but later on, you can laugh about it. Like, in the immediate later on, not like years later, later on. So, it's not, she didn't hurt my feelings or anything. I think it's just really because... Well, really she did it. hurt you enough for you to remember it. But <laughs> it's funny. Now, I tell you, I, like, I find it hilarious when I tell you to, to people. Then, hmm. then I got ever tell people this story, then they tell me I'm lying for like attention. You know, she you makes like her mom sound like the most horrible person, right? No, but she's not horrible. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny. yeah. No, no. She yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to save the situation, you understand? I think for I think, people think, who don't know your mom, she's actually a very nice yeah. person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she yeah. has given a lot for Stephanie yeah. you know, over the years and she has self sacrificed and everything. So these, these are all jokes uh, we she's, make because we are better, very close. She's a better mother than I am. Yeah, it's true. I, I ask her, I ask her, you ever hide food from me that you don't want to share? She's like, no. Immediately she said no. Then I'm like, oh, then you're a better mother than I am because I got hide food from yeah. my daughter. Yeah. Not just <laughs> food, right? Other things? Uh, like, what? I don't know. Art oh, paper. <laughs> no, no, no. That one got shared. That one got shared. But she has her own stash, lah, which I think she considered luckier than most other children. She got her own stash. Lah. Good paper. Yeah, so people think that I'm lying because it, the story sounds so funny that it doesn't sound true. Then I lie to you for But, but for you what? lie all the time, so it's not a no, far off. You do lie all the time. No, I don't. No, are you friends with me? <laughs> if I lie all the time, why are you friends with me? I know it's a lie. lie. It's so shit. Yeah, I know, it. I know that you lie all the time, and I know when you are lying. So, so rubbish. Uh, it's true. And I know when you're forming me off also. Yeah, that's true. Because no, she, she doesn't <laughs> lie very well, you know. Although she lies all the no. time, right? No. She doesn't lie very I, well. No, you know, I don't like feelings, la. You know, I don't like... like it's really not necessary not like to lie. Is, at all. Why is it called... The, the, why is it called... Um, those, the, those kind of people that, that perpetually lie... Compulsive liars, ah. Compulsive liar, thank you very much. No, nah, I'm not compulsive liar. Lah. You sound like that terrible. Your mom isn't that bad either, but you also make her sound very bad. Oh, no, no, that's not, not bad. But I, if someone were to tell me the story, I find it very funny also. If I don't, it's not, it's not framed enough. My mother is horrible. It's I know, lah, but because there are so many of these, you like, like <laughs> Yeah, no, and people don't understand the story. context, you see. We we uh, understand the context. Another thing, that my do, uh, another thing that my mom used to do that I think is very horrible, but now we can look back at it and laugh about this. Last time I have, I have wobbly teeth. You know, the teeth, your baby teeth falling out. Then then my, after I tell my mother, oh, there's a wobbly teeth. Then she's like, just pull it out. Then she go and go and then she said, okay, come, come. I just take a look. I just take a look. Then she'll get some tissue and then she'll look at my mom. Then I just take a look. Then she'll hold the teeth and she'll pluck it out. And I'll be very horrified. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's done already. Then, you know, I'm so shocked. You cannot react. And then I'm like, why are you plugging out? You see, you just take a look at every actually single you time. S- every actually, time. you should, you shouldn't plug it out, you know. Because you might damage the root system and then the gums may get you infected, see, you know. There, there is, yeah, like, by professional standards, there is a um, way to see. You, you better do it. Your your mom, I I, I can understand because she's, she's very cool. she's very good at with her hands. You you oh, better don't try on Charlotte. I, you might... I will go I will go to the dentist. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. This, it, this yeah, is the avocado the seed thing, you know. You, the you know, part? Steph. What, the Steph, 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 Steph. What? This is the avocado seed yeah, okay. that you try to yeah, cut with the knife. <laughs> 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 no, then she very busy. She got a lot of stories to tell. Every single time I believe her. Because you know your mobility is not just one mobility for the rest of your life, right? It's maybe like three, maybe four teeth for the rest of your life. The rest like drop out naturally by then. But I still believe her. <laughs> now, I, I, I would like very upset like, towards the end. I'm like, no, no, the last time you said you just looked, then I'm like, no, no, really, I just looked that I reached her. 
like stupid or don't know what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Then the avocado one is my mother. My mother is hotel management <laughs> degree, so she already trained in in cooking, in how to handle knives, in how to uh, plate certain food. Then. She taught me that the avocado is supposed to cut it in half, and then the side where it got the seed, you take the knife, you cock the, the seed, and then you twist, and then it'll come out. And then me, it's not an English me. word. <laughs> slice it down, and then it will, it will, it will, it will, it will slice into the. You dent it with a knife. Dent lah. Yeah, you do. You you hit it with the knife, <laughs> and then you. Then, then me being me, she 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 took the seat and then she came immediately pull it up. For me, it stopped and then I will slice my hand open. Multiple yeah, times. very good. So now yeah. I will hold it on the Nobody table. Nobody trust her with a it. knife or yeah. scissors. Yeah. Is that until now? My husband got ever mm. say to me before. Please, ah, I got no time to go to the hospital today. Eh. No, then I will tell her, please don't die in my studio. Die outside. Yeah, die outside. <laughs> <laughs> I say it's so horrible. Then she said, no, there's a reason for dying outside. Then more people will see you. You die inside, nobody know. Yeah. That's fair enough. That's why I say she bullied me. No, I just have the same humor as your mom. Terrible. Should I start another talk? Tell me why. I, I finished the first one already. Oh, okay. I thought you don't want to do the first one. No, no, I finished. Oh, nice. Look. Ina K. Yeah. Should have written Udika. They can sing it. Well, I can always write Udika. There's so much space. Oh, okay, lah. Then Udika, yeah. yeah. Okay. Poor okay, person will be sneezing. Yeah, so how did it go into this? Huh? The question was, what is the best way to learn a tangle? And then we learn about all the water in the head and then the what? It's good. It's good. Filler, filler, info, funny story. Okay, what is the best way? To teach a tango. An avocado. What's the best to teach it? I'm almost saying avocado. <laughs> teach a tango. Ah, uh, very good, very good, very good. Teach an avocado. Mm, best way to teach a tango. I always teach a tango. I only teach tangles that I like to draw, and I always teach it in the way that I draw it. So if the original step outs and the way that I draw is different. I will always tell my students the original step outs to this tangle is slightly different, but this is the way that I draw it. Then I'll show them. So then the, if or, I so 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 in other words, the best way to teach a tangle is to butcher the step outs. <laughs> the way that Stephanie draws it. Yes. Butcher butcher the step outs with an avocado knife. <laughs> yes, exactly. Then yourself in the hospital with bleeding thumb. No. Ah. Um, and then another, another thing that happens is sometimes like the way you, you teach it one way and then like three students end up not being able to get it in a class of 20. Then you're like, oh, that's, that's a bit weird. That's a bit high for number, right? Because if one or two students don't get it, then okay, maybe it's just them. But if like three or more students don't get it, then I, I think that something is wrong. Uh, like the way that I'm teaching is not the best way. So I'll oh, go yeah. and think like, Your answer is very methodological la, uh, in a sense. You're yeah, answering yeah. So as if, a, your method of teaching. La. Yeah. So if, if okay. more students don't understand, then I would think that maybe the way that I'm teaching it is not the best <laughs> way. <laughs> Are you then speaking English? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I'll go home and think like, maybe there's a different way to draw this tangle. And now I'll try to like, find a different way to draw it. And then if I do find a different way to draw it, then the next week when I see the same student, I will teach them that way. And I say, is this easier? And a lot of times the students will say, yeah, this way is easier. So it's, it's interesting. And sometimes the way that you think is best is not the way that other people think. Is it's also the left-hander, right-hander problem, right? So I think very few are print on. No, because usually... some people, uh, especially for S uh, base, you know, the letter S, S base tangles. S or butt base strokes. Some... <laughs> Some people actually find it very difficult to do like the okay, let me let me explain. Uh. Okay, let me take away this. <laughs> so you know explain. you know how um stop. <laughs> you know how people do like uh, uh usually they do S this way? 
But some people find it easier to do S this way. Mm. Yeah. And some people find it easier to do it this way. Horizontal or vertical yeah. or diagonally. Yeah. So there are a lot of ways to... You notice that uh, tangles, right, with uh, this S stroke, right? Some people actually uh, start from the base, you know, rather than the top. Mm. But if you ask them to do an S stroke, you have to start from the top. Mm. Yeah. So it, it's, it's kind of a left to right, right to left problem, you know, for some people. Yeah. I think that the best way to teach a tangle is to use simple tang tangles with simple steps. Why do you think so it's not about the method. Why? Why? You can make a simple tangle from very simple techniques and teach it in an advanced class. I, I like to build up to like a, like a more steps tangle eventually. Yeah, but you can do that even with very basic steps. Is what I'm saying. Like, for example, the Tangle Singapore Sling, uh, or I'm not, or I'm not, has a lot of steps, but it's very repetitive. So I wouldn't consider it. It's not a difficult I won't call it steps, though. Uh, steps being unique strokes. Uh. Mm. Ratoon mm. is difficult. You know, that kind of Tangle where like, you need to like, have like, some measurements. Those are high-focus Tangles, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like yeah so, so the, the like best people. way to teach is use simple <laughs> concepts and life. build on. Yeah, like why make it, make it so difficult for people, right? Yeah. Should I go with a different string for this or stick to the... No different. Huh? No different. This, I, I don't know whether to use this towel. Should I use this towel? Okay, should have done that. Like the other week, I taught the tangle hamil. Then, then I was telling hey, the class, oh, hamil. It sounds hamil. Okay, continue, continue. <laughs> then I was telling the class, hamil is a um, combination of hammer dogs and uh, paradox. Ha ha. Hammer dogs. How what? Is, yeah, no, no, no. I, I got it wrong. I was teaching hammer dogs. Hammer dogs is a combination of hamil and paradox. <laughs> very good. Oh Today my goodness. No, how, to teach, how to teach a tiger get a name right first? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be like my mother. <laughs> she always butcher the tiger's name. Uh, okay, there's, there's a, a, a joke at, at, at my mom also. Like, mom, no worry, she, she, she's okay with me teasing her this way. No, but I was teaching, I was teaching the class with that tangle, and then they were like, oh, so how does paradox look like? And I'm like, that's not part of the lesson plan. Nah. You want, you can always just go find it, and then go see how. Why you can't just it. slot it into your class because and show? It's got not enough time. Oh. oh. And also, I You didn't say that earlier, ma. But, but how? What's wrong with par students paradox? Two of the students. I'm very scared. <laughs> two what? of the students had, had already... Had already learned to draw it on their own time. So, 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 so your point for how what is the best way to teach a tangle is don't use something you don't know how to teach. Huh? Is it? Correct. Because it sounds like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Don't teach tangles that people will be easily frustrated with. And if you are going to teach tangles yeah, so that. Uh, it, your answer is my answer also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I'm saying some students, <laughs> in some classes, right, if all of the students are very quick to learn, then yes, it will give me the confidence to teach them a uh, high focus tangle. But no, but then you just said you are afraid of making a mistake yourself. Paradox is okay, la. Paradox is forgiving. It's just some <laughs> of the students are not that not, not the students the, are not forgiving. Yeah, that's true. No, la, they are. Yeah, la, they are very nice. It's just some of the students are not very how to say. They, they wouldn't do well with very complicated tangle. So I keep my lesson plan. Yeah, but parents, um, it's not complicated once you get the hang of it. Uh. Yeah. So it's the yeah, once you, you get you the hang of it. You just need to get the, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah. the problem. <laughs> yeah. I'm starting to teach like paradox. You need a lot of like wow. example material to show like how it looks on this. Use this the, the fragment, fragment concept. Yeah, hey, yeah, hello. Yeah. I go charge you money. <laughs> 
we doing lesson planning right here. Yeah, hello. <laughs> and and then this is not even part of our studio one, you know, this class. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's outside. So, okay. Thank you very much. I will go work on it. <laughs> Later this weekend. I, I'm going to start charging consultation fees. I'm, I'm thinking of teaching um, Oswaldo's Gleeffman class for the uh, You asked for permission or not? Because it was just a... It was a... It was an idea that popped into It was a fragment of your imagination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it really was. What kind of other fragment idea can I teach? Then I was like, oh, you know what? Oswaldo's uh, class Gleeffman would be a good one. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I like, wrote, wrote a quick scribbly note in my notebook. Oh, yeah, then after that, nobody knows how to read the note. Yeah, yeah. It really is so kiam my god. Yeah. <laughs> I, have, I have a note in my notebook to say, please um, transfer your claim your calm classes into proper lesson plan. Because right now, it's really... Huh, you really haven't? Ah? I haven't. Oh February my god. Not yet, so. <laughs> I'm only up to January. February is still a kiam note. Very good. <sighs> Okay. So, Why don't you do it correctly the first time? Then you don't have to redo, ma. Um, because it's a kiam thai not as a <laughs> rough idea. Kiam thai means kiam thai salted vegetables, preserve pre, pre, preserve vegetables. <laughs> the literal translation is preserve vegetables, but but then kiam thai in the slang context is crumpled. Um. It's when not comfort draft, only la. It's something like it's, it's not um it's not very nice, you know, like like when when, when I do draft lesson plan, sometimes ah, dishivo. Sometimes I do draft lesson plan, then it doesn't work out. So if I do it on the nice nice paper, then not nice ma which paper ma so I I do it on the camp type paper. Okay, I'm gonna ignore you. Uh you ask- what is the best yes. way? It's not even related to that. Hello. <laughs> the question was, what okay. is the best way to teach a tiger? Then you go yeah, all the way to Kiam Thai. Why, why, you don't, why you don't do it in the yeah. proper way? Right? Yeah, so I, I have to bring it back, so right? Terrible. Yeah, so I bring it back. Yeah, bring it back. What is the best way to deconstruct a tangle? <laughs> deconstruct. Outsource it to your teammates. What the heck? <laughs> <sighs> Deconstruct a tangle. I think you can't force like deconstructing a tangle. You, you can see not see a tangle. What? You don't. You can't force you cannot, what? yourself to yeah, see yeah. a so tangle. Yeah, so what is the best way to deconstruct? Not see tangles, deconstruct a tangle. So first you must see, lah, obviously. <laughs> I mean, but you can see. I don't know why you're having what? this cup. Oh my goodness. It's an innate thing, right? It's either you can or you cannot. Right? Can or cannot what? See, of course, ah, you whether you, yeah, but first you must observe it, right? If yeah. you don't observe it, how are you going to know what to do? So it comes yeah. without saying that you have to see it first, okay. ah. Okay, so I see it. Then deconstructing, if I see a tangle, then deconstructing is just like drawing down a rough paper to see whether you can break it down into the five. Yeah, so so strokes, then your answer should be your answer should be breaking it down like the best way is to break it down, right? But then well, sometimes you break it down then you're like, mm, this is a good way. And then you draw the step outs, right? Then you show your friend and then your friend will say, Why are you doing this way? You should do it this other way. Then you're like, no, oh, but everyone will see in different that. ways, but fair enough. Yeah, I think I think that's the idea of, you know, like, I mean, you know, you know how we draw poke leaf, right? Because now I'm doing poke leaf, right? You know, people do the stalks and then the leaf, right? Some people draw it this way outwards and some people draw it this way downwards. And it just, I mean, it's just Who your preference. Ah. I want to have a word there. Okay. Why? I'm doing it downwards now. Why are you doing downwards? I'm already having many words with you. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I'm very literal because I work with her, right? I have to do this, if not, I'll go crazy. Easy to say right, that on the spectrum. Why? Because sometimes, but also, my, I understand sarcasm. People who are on the spectrum struggle with sarcasm. I don't, yeah, I don't think. Such a dichotomy. I don't think you are that much on the spectrum, even if you are, you know. You need to. 
That one is you don't like, you don't like lah. Yo, just Very one, just, just one symptom doesn't put you on the spectrum, Steph. It's Do you know how many spectrum people? Spectrum, I can be. Do you? Do you know how many people would kill to be normal like you? It's called yeah. neurotypical. No such thing as normal. <sighs> I have anxiety and depression. <laughs> Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Oh, neurotypical people. You don't know. It's only real. Yeah, people. but I'm saying that it's a very common thing. You don't write off yourself for no particular. Okay, can we come back to the? <sighs> what is the yeah, best way to deconstruct? Me. A tangle. So the best way to deconstruct a tangle is to use a lot of spare paper. Because <laughs> cut down more trees. No, no, it's true because you you need to break it down into as many um spare bits as possible, right? And and then sometimes after playing around with it, you learn that you have too many steps. And how do you minimize those steps? Uh, says the person who has very few steps in her tangles. Yeah. Mm, very good. Block, block, uh, start with block. I don't. Well, if you are the kind who like a lot of steps in your tangles, then I'm sorry. Maybe my tangles are not for you, lah. Yeah. Mm. Cause, cause I don't know. Maybe some people like oh, very complicated ones, then they like you know collecting those. You know, like as a you know, I can do this very complex. Uh. Thing, but I, I get very stressed out when it's too complex. Firstly, I don't want to stress myself further. Usually, I'm already very stressed, so I try to make my tangles as uh, easy to grasp as possible for all. I mean, you see, all of us are attracted to different shapes, different patterns, you know, different motifs and things like that, right? You never know, like the person who might be interested in my latest tangle may not have even done like Zentangle before. Right, so having a very very ultra complex tangle is gonna put the person off. Um, it's gonna help the person decide that okay, the tangle is not for me. You know? I don't want to be part of uh any process that helps the person decide that the tangle is not for him or her lah. Does that make sense? Because I want more people to be uh embracing uh the tangle because it's a method that helps them. So all my tangle. Girls, all my challenges are crafted with the desire, you know, that more people find uh, Zentangle accessible. I don't charge uh, money on my challenges because I want them to realize that, you know, this is something that they can do for themselves without having to pay money for and therefore they should try it. Yeah, because you never know, like, um, you never know the, the skill level or the skill set of the person who is uh, going to try out for the first time. So, because of that, I don't want to be the one that turns the person off or away from art, you know? Yeah. So, I think the best way to deconstruct is to have a lot of paper and a lot of empathy for the person who is going to read your step outs. Mm. Yeah, and I think, I think humor is a very important substance in anyone's life. Um... So if you can infuse humor into step outs, then it's a lot more fun. Like, you know, so you will find very technical step outs in my repertoire that say at blob, you know. Yeah. At blob or something. Yeah. I mean it's it's easy to it's easy to learn because there are steps, but it's also easy to remember if you actually find it a, a bit more fun lah, you know yeah so that, that is what I strive to do in deconstructing tangles yeah I think that Susan got away with a <laughs> this is quite difficult ah, the question okay yeah. okay more, might, might be difficult for her you know Hers, hers might be some some silly answer like bring Sarah and Fa with you when you go filming or something. That's not that's the correct answer. Yeah, then then you probably see more tangles or something uh, knowing her. I I approve. So so basically for Susan, right, she never deconstructed um did she? Did she have? Oh yes, she did. She had Zach. 
So before we took her with mm-hmm. us when we were filming uh, the Tango t- Travel Out series, I think she maybe only had like one or two tangles uh, deconstructed to her name, you know. And then when we took her with us, uh, and then we showed her around and stuff like that, and we filmed uh, segments for our classes and things like that. And she slowly started seeing tangles more and more, and that's how she built her repertoire. So you'll see most of the tangles in our book, right? Mm. I think I should pause a moment for the for a while before we go continue the next question. You want to talk about your tau? Yes. I think Aruna. Please. Aruna is going to be one of the challenges yes. soon. Oh, sorry. Do you know? Save it. Save it. Lah. You save this towel. Lah. Do half only. <laughs> to be continued. Why? <laughs> yeah. And then I did this towel. I finished this. So it's quite cute. It's like a little uh, gate. And then it's got flowers behind the gate. So it's quite cute. I like it. Yeah. It looks like a forest behind the fence. Forest, yeah, 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 like a fence stuff garden. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so, so this is my main tile. So this is the one that I was cash. working on just now. Um, I think inner cash and tree leaf have a common root. So I've done tree leaf on one side and inner cash on one side. And is that is that a purple? Common root. No. <laughs> And then my number two string is very obvious. My number two string ties my towel together. Ha ha ha. Into a bouquet. And then I'm working on a second towel. I don't really know where I'm going to fit my inner cash in, but I will somehow. <laughs> I don't sound convinced even for myself. Anyway. Somehow I would do it. Yeah, yeah. somehow. Yeah. We'll eventually get to that point. Oh, go find that towel. Hmm. Go find your towel. Hmm. Go find another towel. Or find another towel. I'm trying to think how I should continue this. What's the next question? <sighs> oh, you want the next question, Ria? Mm. Okay, what is the best way to conceptualize a Zen Tangle Tao? Conceptualize a Tao? Mm. Conceptualize what, a Tao. Like the finished product? How do you conceptualize your Tao's? I don't. <laughs> Just draw. Yeah, so that's your answer, lah. You you don't know. Mm, unless like it's project based. Mm-hmm. If it's like, for example, if um, I have this image in my head, sometimes I'll be going about my day. Then I have this very vivid mental image where it's like, okay, I'm gonna do this, this, and it's gonna be this color. Then I have a final image in my head that I'm working towards. So then I will... Yeah, so how do I you will, do that? I will reverse engineer it. Lah. So if let's say, oh, it has a blue background, and I say, okay, I need to start with the blue background first. Then let's say there is like a butterfly silhouette on it. I'm just pulling ideas out from thin air. But let's say there's a butterfly silhouette on it. Then, okay, how am I going to transfer the butterfly silhouette onto my towel? Do I want to freehand it? Do I want to like uh, use a stencil? And I will like find it. Stencil. Maybe I do like call that be like Which doesn't stencil. belong to you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the the, the <laughs> stencil is <laughs> not a <laughs> studio <laughs> anymore. Like, oh yeah. I think the stencil is me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll tell I'll tell Daddy, can can you bring the stencil when you meet me on Thursday next week? Is that thing up? But if usually it's just like doing a towel just for Relaxation sake, then there's no like general idea. Like, for this example, no this how I started the number idea. two. Yeah, the number two is this way, and then I'm like, okay, in the cash, let's just draw in the cash, and then, okay, what do I want to do next? 
then after that you keep building it one step at a time so there's no final product right when you finish it i'm like oh okay this is very nice but in my head it didn't exist to begin with yeah so so in using zentangle concepts you are having an unplanned streamer very good right so it means it means to say that you don't plan your tile. Mm. So but sometimes you also when... can have like a a specific um element. Like for example, maybe I want to have a colored circle in the middle of my tile. Then that's like the main element that I have. So okay, I will like go out of my way to specifically get out my my set water colors and then specifically create the colored circle. But beyond that, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So it's just okay. We'll so see you how it Partially plan your Actually tile. Plan it, yeah. So there's different kinds. Of, there's one that's for like art sake where like I really plan down to the very last detail. And then there's some where it's like, ah, you see how it goes. For like art's sake, is it? Mm, yeah. Did you say? So yeah. so the unplanned tile is not art? It is art still. Yeah. But it's more meditation. So sometimes, sometimes this turns It's out more like meditative. You mean more yeah. meditative. But then sometimes you like, okay, let's draw in the cash here. And then you like, oh, let's do this other tangle. And then you finish it like, my God, this is like garbage. <laughs> or maybe, maybe you have this idea in your head. But when you translate it to paper, you're like, the image that I have in my head is very, very different from what, <laughs> what happened, you know. Or maybe sometimes it's, oh, I bought this new, I bought this new, new I bought this new art material. Then I want to try it. Then when you use it, you're like, oh my gosh. Suddenly your mic works. Oh, I was using headphones. They Suddenly I can hear you a lot more clearly. Is that reverb though? That's the question. No, it's fine. It's actually clearer, much, much clearer. Okay. The but... Just now your, your sound was a bit more nasal. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> No, but then sometimes sometimes you buy new materials and then you're like, oh, um, I'm going to try this out today. And then it's like, because you don't know how to use the material, then it turned out looking very horrible. So sometimes things don't work out as planned, but it's okay. You still enjoy the process, hopefully. So are you for or against conceptualization? No. No, well, I'm not, not against. Like, why would we be against? No, I'm it's, just asking for conversation sick. But I always tell my students, when you first sit down to do a how, you should decide for yourself, is it I'm doing for relaxation or am I doing because I want to create something nice? Because if you're doing something, you want to create like a final product that looks nice, then you will plan it out with more like intricacy, more details. If it's you're good just to doing, say that not planning will be not nice though. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like a happy mm. accident, la. But like, yeah. if you're just sitting down, you want to purposely make like a nice artwork, then you're planning out more steps. But if it's just for relaxation state, sit, a uh, sick, then you shouldn't be think overthinking. Just pick one tango and just start. Just do. Don't need to so stressed out. What about you, Daddy? Mm-hmm. Do you conceptualize your house? Um, I think that a lot of times, right? I work with uh, well, I I find that I conceptualize. Uh, better when it's a colored towel. When it's a black and white towel, I tend to be more abstract. Like uh, mm. in my thought process, the outcome is still abstract, lah. Right. So so uh, the outcome will be abstract because uh, most entangle is abstract. But my point is like the the process of it tends to be more abstract when it's a colored towel versus a black and white towel. Because when it's a black and white towel, I'm more inclined to put in uh, a border and a string and work my way from there you know mm. so the the string is the part that you are planning uh right but yeah. when i have but when i have let's say i have this piece uh, of uh, tinted paper uh i will actually go with the somehow or rather uh, subconsciously i'll still go with like what the ink has done already on the paper i'm i'm saying ink because this is ink uh, not watercolor watercolor um, so it, I, well, since I have this, I might as well use this to illustrate. So the this one that I'm showing you is different from this one in terms of the splatter, right? So the mm. splatter also makes a difference, uh, for me, 
versus this one. You know, like this one's very uniform, right? And then versus this one. So all of them are different. How are you going to draw on this one? Will you approach this one the same way as this one or this one? You know? So a lot of times the splatter also uh, convinces me either way. Lah, do I plan or I don't plan? You know, things like that. Right? So um, I say this because there were a couple of times where actually uh, splatters don't always turn out the way that you want. Right? That's why it's called a splatter. If it's not a splat splatter, then it's, 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 it's a... Yeah. It's a paint. Uh, it's a paint. It's a, it's a painted piece. Uh, you paint it down. It's, paint. you know? <laughs> it's painted on with a purpose, lah. Yeah. Um, kind of. Let me see. Right, an example. Kind of like this. So I was, I purposely made it into an X. So it's not as better as a con conscious uh planning involved, right? This one, right, I wanted to use as uh, something that I'll put fragments on. But later I realized that uh, the eco dye I was using wouldn't take my micron. So then I was stuck and then I sort of shelved it. For so, so the shape and the colors and the splatter also inspires me to plan or not plan in a certain way. Like. It's, mm. um, yeah, so I think that I mean, not all of this is, is just preference also, like what makes you comfortable. Some people are very comfortable without a string. Some people definitely always need to have a string, you know. I guess uh, it's also about where you are personally in your own Zentangle journey because then you will be more aware as to which makes you more comfortable or not. You know, because you you would have tried more things uh, through your journey and you will be more self-aware as to which process makes you feel more relaxed some people uh like okay so just now steph said something like you know one type is more meditative than the other type i'm not so sure all our brains operate differently i don't think that um you know i might find it more relaxing to do it in a certain way but you might find it more relaxing to do it in another way lah, you know mm -hmm. yeah so it's, so, so it's down to preferences again yeah i got a question you must say yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> you know how like last no. time when we first <laughs> so stupid <laughs> when we were first certified, right? The the um, Zentangle world was more black and white, literally, not like figuratively. Literally, <laughs> it was, like, it was more black and white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what kind of drama have you be part of? No, no, no. Last time it was more black and white. And then mm -hmm. later on, Rick and Maria introduced the term ZIA, right? Zentangle inspired art. So mm -hmm. then, one thing I was thinking about the other day when I was using the Mosaic app, right? Because now it lets you uh, mark your artwork, your photo as either uh, Zentangle original tile, mm -hmm. and then it's a white tile, mm -hmm. colored tile, whatever. And then there's an option for uh, ZIA or not, right? Like traditional art, right? Or okay. others. My question is, if I use that a regular that, size yeah. tile and mm -hmm. I follow the eight-step method, but let's say, for example, I use uh, colored pencils to do shading. Or maybe even not that. Let's say I use a regular size tile. I do everything, right? But in black and white, right? But I added a gemstone, but I shaded it using a graphite pencil. Is it considered ZIA or is it considered Zentangle? So... Uh, if it's black and white with graphite, it is Zentangle. Right? Okay, then my next question is, Zentangle is not supposed to be representational. If I draw, let's say, a cat face, then I fill it with tangles. You can see that it's a cat. Is it still called Zentangle? Right? Because your string is meant to be abstract, so, right? In the strict even, uh, world of Zentangle, strict, uh, strict me... <laughs> Uh, it didn't, if, 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 if you are talking about strict Zentangle in concepts... Uh, any string that is representative, it is uh, not going to be considered as a classic Zentangle. So, be a if ZIA. it's got colors and it's got something that resembles Rep a real... Presents. Repre it, 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 it may not. Maybe I drew a cat in a way that it doesn't resemble the real <laughs> thing, but you know it's a cat. <laughs> yeah. Then what about... Like, like okay, see, like see, powers? see. If, if, I, if I do this... If I do this, you know it's a heart, right? Yeah. But does it resemble a heart? No. Uh. It's just like, yuck, yuck, with my pen. 
nyok nyok. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then if I do this, then I do this, you will see that it looks like a, start to look like a cat, right? Mm. Right? But it's not a cat, what? It doesn't resemble. It represents. So, so, so resemble so, means that I actually draw a, a meow face with whiskers, <laughs> you know? So, it's but this one has also, no la. whiskers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is what were you intending when you were drawing it? If I draw, then I'm like, I look, turn, turn, turn my tongue. I'm like, hey, actually, look like a cat, eh? if you look at it from this way. Like, like finding shapes yeah. in a cloud like that. Eh? Yeah. So the cloud is not so, meant to look like anything, but then, oh, you happen to see a cat face inside, then okay, like, it's a happy accident. Yeah, because you see, if, if you uh, plan it to look like a cat, then that is. Your intention that is, is. Playing the outcome, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then your your idea uh will be will be um curated like you are curating the experience by adding, you know, a string that is in a certain shape, la, right? Mm. Versus the idea that okay, I, I plan my string, my string is a Z shape. What does then, it look like? Nothing. Draw 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 and then draw 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 and then hey, it look like can I actually return it this way? Then okay, that one is not purposely. Yeah. yeah. So there's no intention or so not okay. Yeah. Hey, I draw wrong. Never mind. Okay. I'm still stuck. Yeah, so this is my uh Indian leaf evolve. Why well, you show them? You shouldn't show them now. I I I, I was drawing it just now already in, in my first towel. You shouldn't have. Why well, you spoil them? Why? They should have they should have to wait. Why? Why I, I don't I don't have the step outs yet though. I only have the original Informal Indian step leaf. Outs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I only have the original angel leaf step outs. Um, they actually, do we same... need to come out with evolve step outs? This is evolve oh now. Why use your brain? So bad. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Eh, why my sister and I just cannot see that. We really need step outs. Then 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 don't draw it, it, Use it. use the original angel leaf ah. So pretty. Yeah, this well, sometimes I doesn't supersede that one. This it, doesn't it, supersede anything. It's just when when I teach in class, sometimes I I teach like a advanced version of the tango. Then so got some students cannot get it. Then like it's okay, just stick with the basic one. Yeah. yeah. Don't, so don't, if you can do that, how can I cannot now. say that? So don't rubbish. sound now. <laughs> don't burn so your brain. Rubbish. Don't burn Speaking your brain. Speaking of burning the brain, burning your brain. <laughs> well, how you yeah. get way into that? <laughs> okay, yeah, go ahead. I'm, I'm so like done with their accounts. I thought I'll look at accounts for like the next millennial. <laughs> okay, no, the IRAs will come. Yeah, come so I step down, okay? I give you the... That's why we finding help, ma. No, I hand over. I, I do want... Hand over to you. Uh, can, can. Then, then next year, sure, gonna... Gonna? Gonna la. Just give the summon la, it's okay. <sighs> for anyone wondering for translation, we mean that later the government will find us for reporting tax incorrectly. Anna. <sighs> well the the brain the brain burn is real, you know. Burn after burn. after after Monday when I submitted uh, oh, I I really <laughs> I really see the function. Yeah. <laughs> you sit down and stay off into space for a good good two hours. And I'm still not past it yet. I feel uh I feel horrible. <laughs> Poor thing. Hmm. Yeah, and then I still have things to adjust, you know, because of that. I adjusted that one, then I have to adjust the other one, then it's just endless, you know, oh my god. Yeah. Is Stephanie then you turn it upside down, it is Zentangle. Hmm. Very good. My one of my students gave to me the idea. Okay, what's the last question? Is it the last question? No. What is the best way mm -hmm. to embrace Zentangle? Yo, your Just do it. is so loud. Just do it. What's the best way? What kind of question you answer first? I listen to your answer, then I think about mine. The, it, well, for me, right, the best way to embrace Zentangle, right, uh, especially if you 
are new to Zentangle is to start with uh, free resources that are already available online. Because that was how I started as well. Uh, because at that time when I got certified, um, uh, long ago, uh, there wasn't anyone teaching in my area at that time that I could take a class from. And so uh, I actually practiced on my own by myself uh, for I think about a year maybe before I actually got certified. And, and to me, right, that was a very uh, happy process um, that actually looking back, I think I really needed that process rather than having a teacher. Um, because sometimes... Uh, Okay, I, I am a teacher myself, so I can see why you need a teacher in certain things. But I also see um, in certain aspects why ha having the experience of um, self-exploration is also crucial uh, uh, as an experience, you know. So um, I would say that yes, do go to a teacher for like the fundamentals, like the disentangle basics you know because that one you cannot get elsewhere right but then at the same time do not short change also your own explorations uh because your teacher may not know uh you very well or may not uh, be able to teach you in the way that you need uh, i mean we are all although we strive to be very good teachers most of us we are still human right um i say this very humbly because i also uh, deal with a lot of instructors through the event that we host uh, for CCTs. So I'm being very humble in saying this because I really respect uh, the instructors that we work with over the years. I inspect, I mean, in fact, I actually respect every one of uh, the, the instructors that, that have actually worked with us. Lah. So when I say this, I say it in a very humble way, having seen all these things. Uh, and, and the years that have passed uh, where we have been doing this, uh, which is not few. <laughs> uh, I, think, I think for me, I say this because, right, only you can know uh, the direction you need to take, you know. Um, you are the one that was given certain gifts. Whether you believe that the universe gave it or God gave it, I believe God gave it, but you might believe that the universe gave it or whoever gave it. But my point is that you were the recipient, right? And the dream began with you. Your dreams begin with you, right? So therefore, you can't, um, you can borrow and you can meet people uh, that might inspire you. But at some point, you need to come back with all the things that you have learned and re-inspire yourself because that is what artistry is you can't uh you can follow someone's um textbook uh for life for art for artistry for whatever but my point is that if you do not come back and make it your own right then it's just someone else's work lah, or someone else's uh story you know so you are not actually um engaging yourself if you don't digest uh, certain things that you have learned and play with uh, very importantly play is very important uh, and test out things that you learn so a lot of the people that I meet uh, in the Zentangle realm um, there are two kinds there are those that are perpetually trying out new ideas trying out to figure out like uh, you know the new um materials that are available some people are into like uh, attending many many classes even though they are instructors themselves you know and then there are some people who are just very caught up uh in their own branding which is not not right or wrong it's just we need to all pay bills lah, right but my point is some people are just so caught up that they forget that there is a process that they need to go through as successful uh be as successful as they used to be or continue to be as successful as they are you know because they forget that learning is also part of uh being an instructor or a teacher yeah and and i'm not i'm not 
saying this to hurt anybody um, because I myself, I support very strongly all the CCTs that I've ever met, uh, online or not. Uh, I'm the one that's going around buying quietly things from them, buying paper from them, buying templates, stickers, whatever, you know, uh, towels, books. Uh, and I and and I do it not to brag, but I do it to support the community and their work because to me they are important. They keep the ecosystem uh, alive, uh, and they keep Zentangle uh, unique, you know, from as compared to another art method. And so to me, right, the best way to embrace it, right, is to be constantly uh, involved with the community. So. Involve yourself with free uh, challenges and things. Learn about the community. Figure out where it is that you, what it is that you enjoy, which area it is that you you are most comfortable. You know, uh, is it is it black and white? Is it um, black paper? Is it colored paper? Is it toned paper? Is it is it uh, you know like tinted paper, watercolor paper, or, or whatever? And then just go in that direction, uh. I mean. To me, to me, you you can't uh overlearn Zentangle because they are just I mean especially nowadays, uh like Steph says right when we started it was just a lot of it was black and white art, but nowadays there are just so many so many ways um in which to embrace this method. Uh, I saw just before I joined uh this live show, I saw one of my uh CCT friends actually uh doing wood burning pyrography uh, with Zentangle and then it was so pretty so that could be that could be somewhere that you um you see if you embark on Zentangle that could be somewhere where you end up as a destination uh maybe not 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 so much like pen and paper but something else another medium yeah but you won't know if you try you see so the idea is to keep on being open to learning new things and then you'll figure out uh the best way to embrace it for yourself uh. because everyone's journey is going to be different anyway you see like i said at, at that point in time when i started no one was actually teaching in singapore uh classes right uh so that for me was uh also a blessing in disguise because i got to figure out myself uh. Right in my own direction. Um, I don't need to look at someone who has been there and done that, or I don't need to have like a a template for you know like someone is doing it this way, so I have to do it this way. So I I was very freed from all of that by virtue of being the first uh, full time teacher at that point in time. Yeah. So I think. Um, I think maybe if you want to take a class, you should, and then take home the concepts and then rehash them in your own time. I think that is the best way. Steph is probably off skiving. <laughs> I'm not skiving. I'm working very hard. <laughs> skiving is the best way to embrace. <laughs> That's actually <laughs> also true, you know. You need rest. Between actually, while you were saying, like, um, what was it? I see a lot, yeah, a lot of things. I see a lot of things. <laughs> you were saying, you were saying <laughs> something like, be inspired by other teachers' mm. artworks, mm. right? right? Their mm. classes, right? Mm -hmm. I think on on top of that, if you want to mm. do Zentangle long term, an important part of it is to be inspired outside of this circle of Tanglers. Mm -hmm. So you shouldn't only look at Tangled art, you should look at yeah. uh, historical artworks and you should also look at modern artworks, you know, like, like living artists that are kind of creating artworks. Yeah, then be like me, be... go to the art fair and like, yeah, I can do this also. Yeah, my cat can do this. <laughs> yeah, my cat can do. Yeah. And, and also you should look at uh, interdisciplinary. So, not only mm. just like if you think about like in the discipline it shouldn't just be like oh because I do pen and paper so I go and look at um crochet people who crochet people who do embroidery people who do uh fabric art it's not just that it's also interdisciplinary in in the sense of maybe I'll go and do architecture maybe I'll go and start to learn urban sketching maybe I'll learn how to do cooking and then it might not seem like it's related but in doing other things outside of what you um focus on 
mainly lah for for me it's zen hangar but if you do other things right like maybe play a musical instrument go watch a movie uh, go to the zoo you know things that might not by a, a natural line of thinking might not relate back to zen hangar doing those things will help enrich your internal um world your internal creative world and then it will enable you to then create much more rich and interesting artworks even though Zen Hengel in essence is abstract but I do also think you are still drawing from like a pool of yeah, uh, so you are broadening your horizons uh. correct so mm. some people might say like oh it's just go and look at other people's artworks uh. but then I think also not only that you should look at other artworks and also you should do other things as well you know outside of art so that you have more things to to draw and your your artwork will look more interesting. How to embrace her? My advice would be. Um, what if what if a person draws from inspiration from social media to the point where they are like, hey, I don't want to do it. Here. You know, like too many people are doing it. So- and uh, when you are doing better than me, some, some, you know? think something I wanted to say was um because nowadays projects are very complex, right? Some people might think that oh, Zen Tango will take very long, take like two three hours because in order to complete such a complex artwork, you would need a lot of extra time, right? But I think the basics of Zen Tango is just pen paper black and white, very simple unplanned outcome. So don't lose sight of like what the original idea that Rick and Maria had for Zen Hangar is that it's meant to be a very simple art form. Yeah, so, and it's so, not meant to be so, competitive. So they have to take a class la, because if not, they don't know what was the origin. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, a lot of yeah. noise, right? So you should, you should, this is not, this is not us like, <laughs> we, we don't teach uh, no no we don't teach a beginner class yeah, uh, anymore beginner. yeah so we are not benefiting from this in any way actually mm. but you yeah. should I do teach uh, beginners in person classes so unless you're located in Singapore then uh, otherwise yeah, <laughs> I cannot help you <laughs> I mean online uh, we don't yeah. uh, as a studio we don't yeah so so but you should you should uh, take a class from a Zentangle teacher to get to know like what the original intention of it was. And a lot of people like especially when they like uh take a class with me, they're like, Oh, I have I have done this for quite a while already. Then they actually sit in for the class and they're like, Oh actually it's actually much more different different from what I expected it to be, you know? So back to basics and um if you already have taken a Zentangle one oh one like a beginner's class with a certified Zentangle teacher and you're not exploring things further, always remember to come back to the basics once in a while. Uh, you also need a certified teacher, please. Mm. Don't go to the wrong person. Check, check zentangle.com yeah, yeah. For, for a list of certified yeah, because teachers. If, if they are not certified, right, they do not know uh, how to teach the method as it was intended. And they could actually uh, be teaching you stuff that is not even what Zentangle is, you know. They might be doing it out of goodwill even, right? But, you know, you always make sure mind. that your teacher is certified. Yeah. Mm. Because, uh, after all, right, you want to be getting value for what you paid, right, as a student. Mm. And if you are picking it up for the first time, you don't want to be misled. Yeah, I've, I've heard terrible stories from my own students. They're like, oh, I saw a Zentangle workshop being held by this agency and I went to sign up out of curiosity and it was awful. And the only reason why they knew it was awful is because they've attended a class with me before and then they were like, the, the person wasn't even teaching Zentangle. It was not proper at all. And, and then she, they were, the student was saying like, you know, there were other people who participated in the workshop and if that's their first exposure to the Zentangle method, then I will feel... Very disappointed, like, cause it's like always oh, like that only, yeah. But actually, it's that's not how it's meant to be taught, you know. So very important to go see, find classes that are made by a certified Zen Tango teacher. Made, taught, mm. made, taught. I mean, if you teach it, I should hope that you <laughs> you have yeah, your own the beginner then. class is all. Oh, no, more no. or less the same. Mm-hmm. I, I, I teach them differently. Yeah, but, but your, first few, your first few steps will be the same. Is what I'm the saying. eight steps. Like, not not yeah, the... Like, yeah. It's meant to be that way. Wa. You can't, can't be deviating from 
day one, right? Like part one, day one. Day one, part one. You deviate me. You have to start from a certain place before you... Right? Your first how, I mean, your concepts. Yeah. Okay. Is that all the questions? It's a lot. Like, one more. You know, no, you, you, well, if you want one more, you can come out with one more. Well, no, I'm just making sure that we, I don't cut you off. Actually. <sighs> okay. Uh, we do closing. What no, have you, you do closing, to? not not we do. You do closing. You have to tell me what what you've been up to. Nothing. Tell everyone, nothing. I've been skiving. Yeah, I've not been up to anything. Your town, current your town, town. You know what it means, though. I have not I've been up, not up to anything. Means that I'm very tired. I don't do anything, lah. Oh. <laughs> no, we have to do yeah, anything. Yeah. I, I don't feel up to anything, you know? Yeah, I'm not yeah. up for anything, thanks. Mm. Please, go away. <laughs> <laughs> Kindly. Yeah, well... Go bother so, I've got two yeah. towels. I realised that I haven't put inner cash anywhere on this towel. Oh, no. I'll, I'll see how to fit it in still. And then I've got this one. Uh, yeah, so this is my inner cash towel. I think I have one more towel. So. Ah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> then, right, um, I was... Yeah, yeah I, I, I realized that I have one uh, to show you, uh, which is this one. So, if you can see, it is in the cash meets beat lines. That's cute. Yeah. The this, this, is a, like yours. this is a traveling oh, tango. Okay. Yeah, I did the pushback, so okay. I use gray micron. It's a very muffled tone. You can Muffle. see that this person's Zen Jam. So this is Meredith oh, nice. Kramer's towel. This oh, person's Zen Jam went all the way to the back. <laughs> oh, wow. See? Wow. Very hard. Okay. Translucency towel. Uh, wanna be. 101. <laughs> so it's like part two. Yeah. I think this was sent to me August 2022. Okay, la, not that bad. La. <laughs> what's the damage? What's no, no, what's here? the Vintage of it. Yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Yeah, so thought I just do a. I'll probably post it uh, on the groups as well as uh, Instagram at some point. Hmm. Yeah. For me. And then my second oh. towel, I forgot to put in a cash, so I will have to deal with it later. Deal with it, yo. Why? For me, I've done this. I've got three little rolls. Of three little worms. Three little rows of intersecting tangles. Hi yo. Where is the inner cash? Oh, inner cash for this towel. Oh. Like, wow. I, did, I did two towels with inner cash. Enough inner cash already. So here's my two towels. Enough then inner cash. Enough cash. <laughs> Enough cash. Got this. I found another cash by the way. Yeah, you told the one me. I showed you. I'm very upset. Why? Why never bring me? It's so sad. I, oh, oh, it was a very last minute decision. Huh. <laughs> Your mother was supposed to join yeah, yeah, me yeah, on the I walk. Remember, you told me. And then she played me out. I ended up going by myself. I then I'm like, up. No, 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 no. It, it was more than that. It was like, I'm definitely going, okay? I'm only going <laughs> unless it rains. Then I won't go. She, and then, then I'm like, okay, then, then what time you want to go? And then she's like, I'm up every day by seven. Yeah. <laughs> Then she told me, you know, I'm very sorry. I was very sorry. I thought I can go, but I felt so tired. And I'm like, yeah, you bear. Eh. <laughs> yeah. Pretty no nose. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So um, it was nice tangling along with you guys. We hope you had fun. Uh, as a recap, today's session, we did a uh, string shape like a two, the number two. You can do a normal tool. You can do a tool in your original language, for example, in Mandarin or Roman numeral tool. We use the Tangle in a cache by Debbie New. We have very simple step outs. A recording of today's the session. Thing tool. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a recording of today's session will be made available on our Instagram at 7405 Rivers and also on our YouTube channel youtube.com slash c slash 7f5r studio you can find all of us um, on Instagram respectively Debbie is tangled.pursuits I'm halfpan underscore will draw why and Susan respectively is... Debbie 
we are respectively Debbie is this, Susan is this, and oh. I am this. Right? Oh. And Susan Yeo is Susan Yeo dot I want yeah, if you tangle, to be dead. If you tangle along with us, <laughs> You can post your house in a Facebook group 7F5I Challenge, yeah? Or you can use the hashtag 7F5I Challenge in, on Instagram, yeah? We will be streaming next on 14th March 2022. It's a Tuesday, 2 p.m. Singapore time. So we've changed the day and the time of all of our future Instagram live sessions and we'll be only having Instagram live sessions every alternate weeks. So yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We hope to see you again next month. Bye. Bye.